Ganesha and I am back with another word from the Lord. Now this word is a more cheerful word that I'm actually happy to release um, compared to the previous one of course but still this is out of my comfort zone because as much as I release words about marriage and what sometimes um, most of the time I I would rather reveal I mean, most of the time I would rather release messages about warnings that the Lord gives me, even though you people don't watch those and you only watch the marriage words. That says a lot about you, not about me. <laughs> Probably going to cut that out. Um, I, I don't really like releasing marriage words because I feel like there are a lot of YouTube prophets that are talking about marriage. So... Yeah, most of the time I would rather just talk about the things that God is revealing to me that are related to other issues. He knows this, okay? So, I have a word today, yes. Now, I'm going to take a screenshot of this and put it on the screen for y'all to see. So, I had a vision on the 8th of March. I was traveling from rome back to spain and i was on the plane at this time because my flight was an early morning flight and so it was after my connecting flight now i was literally traveling from rome to spain and i remember that i had a vision of brides so many brides like maybe 12 of them but they were literally lined up they were in this beautiful hall but they were standing outside these large beautiful brown wooden doors and they looked like they were getting ready to go into um into the, the chapel you know so i was just like wow they look so pretty they had beautiful satin dresses on and they had their hair slicked back so first i was like are these bridesmaids but no they were not bridesmaids so i'm just gonna read it the screenshot of the the note that i made at the time so that i wouldn't forget and it reads i'm on the plane back to malaga and i saw a vision flash before my eyes a lineup of brides or bridesmaids because I still wasn't sure but as I was typing it became clear to me because the Holy Spirit was still downloading okay here's what and I was just coming out of my sleep you know here's why I'm not completely certain right they were not wearing veils as if everybody has to wear a veil when they get married they were all Caucasian looking and were holding bouquets of white lilies and all had their hair slicked low, slicked back in a low ponytail, right? They were all wearing beautiful white satin dresses, nothing elaborate, but they were beautiful. They were all standing in a line next to each other, about 50 centimeters between each one. Yes, details. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I didn't count them because the vision literally flashed before my eyes. I believe they're all brides though and the Lord is showing me that many of his daughters are getting married this year. I remember that they were standing in a beautiful grand hall that was white with really high ceilings and I believe that it was a church. So after this word, I remember that as I got to Malaga, I was waiting for the bus and... This was now much later and I was waiting at the bus stop and I remember that I went on YouTube and I saw a video and this video was by Tiffany Montgomery, Prophetess Tiffany. And I was like, what's this word about? So I clicked on it and it was one of those videos that she does um, after the Tuesday fast and it's like a live where she comes and prays online with people you know to break the fast so i remember i was like okay what's this about and i heard her say the year of the bride i was like no way what what do you mean the year of the bride i literally had a vision earlier today about a whole lineup of brides who were waiting to get married what is this you know and then to me confirmed that you know all of these people were 
brides and they were getting married, right? So I know that throughout the year, the Lord has been sending me reminders of this word that he gave me. And he has spoken to so many of his prophets as well concerning this specific word um, with regards to his daughters and his sons coming together. Now, if you remember in the beginning of the year, or if you don't know me and you didn't see the first video that I did, I got a word from the lord that this was the year of the return of the prodigals that the prodigals were returning home right and because of the mass return of prodigals a lot of his sons are returning and some have already returned because this is december now and so of course he is uniting them together with his daughters for his kingdom's cause for the purpose for which he wanted to bring us together with these people to begin with okay so he is going to be sending us out to do his work he will be glorified through your marriages okay so it's not just for you to have somebody to you know keep you company or someone that you can um have babies with but it's also for <laughs> his kingdom okay so um recently he reminded me um of this specific word and you guys every time i traveled to a different place i would see brides and wedding gowns bridal parties it was just crazy and just this week i saw okay like last week on friday i saw a couple getting married when I went to the gym. Okay, these guys were taking their pictures in the park, right? And <laughs> and I remember that um, after that, I got home and there's a civil court right next to my house, like right across the road from where I live. And there was a wedding party there. And in that week, last week, there were two weddings that I witnessed. I don't know how many others happened, okay? But the Lord is literally just like, yo, this is it. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. So you guys are definitely going to be seeing testimonies from people about their marriages. And God is doing a quick work and he is bringing it quickly and the reason why i said on this word all the way from march and whatnot is because i was like oh there are so many people talking about it already you know but i guess now he's really just like he needs to release this so okay guys here it is it is indeed the year of the bride there are miraculous things happening it doesn't matter if you're still single right now god can still do something for you i know people don't believe in the old traditional way of doing things like what happened with rebecca she was minding her business went to the well and came back engaged honey because you know abraham's servant had met her there and decided this is definitely my master's son's wife okay so god is leading you to your spouse and he is ordering your your spouse's steps towards you and we are getting married okay we're getting married in the name of jesus christ and nothing can stop what the lord is doing in our lives not any devils in hell or in our father's houses or anywhere at all <laughs> it's not going to get in the way of the lord when the Lord declares a word, it comes to pass. Go and read Isaiah 55, verses 10 through 11. Okay, I'm going to put it on the screen. And also, Jeremiah 1, verse 12. Okay, and if you are still holding on like this, and you're like, God, I need to see this happen, you need to read Psalm 46. Verse 7 for me is a really good one. It's been my anchor scripture for a very long time. And Psalm 46, verse 10. Just read the entire chapter, okay? It's not long, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to put these scriptures on the screen and make some beautiful little pictures, images that you can look at. And if I have time, I will add some of the pictures that i took of these random weddings that i was just seeing everywhere just so you guys know that when god releases a word it's not just specific to a certain country but it's for all people 
anywhere, okay? Because these were different countries, different cities, and I would still just be seeing many. So God is doing it, okay? Be blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name.